JJ Jinx! Truck Stop Knives! JJ Jinx, Truck Stop Knives here, and today in our social isol isol and today in our social isolation special, I thought we would have a close-up look of this knife. China knife. So this knife debuted. Um, gosh, how long ago was that? That was almost a year ago. When I was down in Florida with my friends and we were having a cookout and unboxed a bunch of stuff. And this knife made its debut. But it was kind of far away, kind of grainy, didn't get a good look at it. So let's have a good look now. So I picked up the China knife in the wasteland that is the Florida flea market in the heat of the summer. Oh my god, I sweat so much. Just being in Florida in the summer in general, but being at a flea market with very little ventilation, oh, it was a rough day. But it was worth it because I spotted this and I just had to freaking get it. Uh, the first thing that I liked about it, besides the price and the packaging and the picture, is the inside. I guess that counts as packaging too. Oh, and it matches my background. So what we're looking at is kind of a velvety red colored uh, material that's supported by plastic, it feels like. It's a nice little bed for this guy to rest in. So if we take the knife out, we, there's the uh, impression that it sat in. No other information on the box. Scratch that. I found this on the box. Art number colon HK858. So I'm assuming that means that there are more of these by the same company. I don't know how these things work. Oh, and I just noticed there's also a little tiny picture of it on the side. <laughs> so what we're looking at is some kind of a chimera monstrosity of five different dragons. That's right, five of them. There's one here. This makes up the uh, hilt. You got your head, one foot here, and one foot on the other side. The tail is the handle. And then on the belly of the knife is another dragon here. But then if you keep going to the tail end of the uh, sheath, you can see that this is another dragon just kind of chilling out here. And on the other side, you've got the twin of the dragon with the bat wings. And it can stand up like that for display purposes. It's a little rattly. And in the background behind this dragon is this nice shiny blue part. Looking at the blade itself now, uh, it's uh, rather plain, kind of a dull end. In fact, the entire blade is actually completely dull and unsharpened. It, they sort of gave it a little bit of an appearance of an edge, but if you look, it's totally flat. There's no grinding there whatsoever. The whole thing was just kind of stamped out. They gave it a once over, and that's fine because um, this is not meant to go out camping and and bushcrafting with it's it's very uncomfortable you try to hold it in your hand it's sort of hard to know how you hold it like do your fingers go here like this and and then like what do you do with the rest of your hand i guess there's like this hole and i guess the thumb sort can sort of go there I, I just don't know how to hold this properly i don't know if it's meant to be held at all if you look down into the uh the sheath you can see some padding on either side and this whole thing is held together with um, Phillips said screws. I'm not sure what it's made out of. I guess it's plastic. Sounds like it. When the sheath comes to a close, it does make a rather satisfying sound. And even though it was $5.99 and it's obviously a cheap hunk of crap, just have a look at the artwork. I mean, the there's actually quite a bit of detail in this design. They didn't skimp on that part, but they skimped on a lot of other things. <laughs> so let's just do a close-up walk-by of this guy. And you got the tail. The main dragon with a partially obstructed dragon hole. Yeah, we've all had that problem. And, uh, and then we got the bat wing dude. And then you get this sort of Viking ship head at the end. <laughs> Ch 
China knife. Thank you.